had great success with having really great staff and that's in the sound company that's in the commercial install where we have to go out into a church um, or a conference room um, you know and the guys that have been with us for a very long time um, that are key to the organization some of our larger installs have been the Buell Science Center the Convention Center Star Lake Amphitheater uh, just the name Heinz of the Hall. Well, that's what's considered the commercial or install division. And again, something that's grown f from our business. A and just for instance, a church will call and say, our mic's no longer working. So we, we go out and, and we uh, spec their equipment, look at their equipment and make some suggestions. A lot of times uh, things have aged out, very old sound equipment, very old microphones. So we put together a bid, a quote, and, and then, you know, work with them. One of the visions that my dad had <clears throat> many years ago was to make it a landmark so that wherever you were coming from, it lit up with neon and there was never any uh, doubt that it was a guitar store. <laughs> A lot of it does move over the internet. We, there is a lot of turnover. We get a lot of really cool used guitars that come in, those gems, those guitars that come in. Hollywood Music started in 1965 in our family's home. My dad, who taught guitar lessons to kids after school. I'm Don Hollywood. I'm Gary Hollywood. I'm Brad Hollywood. We're an anchor store here in McKee's Rocks and um, we've evolved into more than just the retail music business. We also do live sound, we have a sound company. We also do installations, commercial installations. Big events like Farm Aid, uh, even if it was just providing backline equipment. We work um, with Bruce Springsteen. You know, the Three Rivers Arts Festival has become a premier festival in the United States. vision for Hollywood music as it expanded was uh, our father, Brad's grandfather, from the basement of our house. I mean, he, he had the idea of renting equipment to bands. You know, when you say sound, it sounds very, uh, you, you know, it, it's not very specific, but you can't go to a concert if there isn't a sound company. Uh, we work for the Steelers, we work for the Pirates, we work for the Penguins. Uh, those are some of our accounts. So the Pro Sound division uh, is constantly growing. We, we work with the Marathon and the Arts Festival and the Jazz Festival, and both Gary and Brad um, run that part of the business. Band equipment, drums, keyboards, uh, guitars, amps, uh, we have a wide selection of that that when a band, when I say a fly date, uh, a band might be on tour, but they'll pick up a date where they'll fly into town and we'll supply all the gear uh, to make that work for them. Yeah, I mean, with Backline, it, it's it's always changing. I mean, there's always new keyboards that are coming out. We have to keep updating uh, new guitar amps. Some, some like, drums, for instance, like Gretsch drums that have been around since the 60s, since the 40s, are now coming back, you know, we, we we follow kind of artist endorsements, so we also work with manufacturers on um, like work working with to help artists, whether it's like Yamaha or Mesa Boogie. Um, the backline is when I first started working with a store. We always had equipment that they would take to sound jobs because we had a retail store. So a lot of it's become kind of buying and selling, continuously updating to the point where you have all the stuff in house. If I don't have a piece, you know, we send a guy in a van to get it and, uh, you know, to kind of make it all work, so. So the, the, the basic story is if a band showed up and there was no back line, they would have nothing to plug into or play. We would not be able to sell all of our equipment in, our, in the retail store by, by foot traffic or just people coming to the store. So a lot of it does move over the internet. We, there is a lot of turnover. We get a lot of really cool used guitars that come in. Um, friends of my uncles, friends of my dad's, people that are, um, you know, just kind of looking to get rid of stuff. So for us, you know, it, it's kind of finding those gems, those guitars that come in and we're able to, you know, bring them in. And, and, and we're still in a business where 
people want to come in and and play an instrument. We like music. Music is a big part of our life and we'd like to see that continue to grow.